Sorry then. We're gonna talk about skin. I've been writing a lot of things. You see the chaos. I've been very but it I think people have to be very careful to not get trapped along the way with things that you can afford with your current lifestyle, like the way you're living and the, the way you're earning, but they're also imprisoning you in the fact that you are now going to have to work this 40 hour a week job in order to get this thing that you can afford, but now you, you are saddled down to this job. You have no, you're not saving, you're not, you're not putting things in a, in a good place, and you're working for these things. Working for things as rewards right. is a real trap that a lot of people fall into. It's the big... And then there's a there's a other thing that people have to avoid, even allowing their mind to think. When they're hearing what you're saying, and you, all this logical, fantastic advice, there's th these six dirty words. That's easy for you to say. Yeah. That is a terrible trap. I mean, look, I grew up as a first-generation immigrant uh, in Jamaica, Queens, uh, with zero money, single mom, two kids, working day and night, go to school. Uh, you know, I washed dishes. Uh, I was ca I was working catering jobs. I was mowing lawns. I was working since the age of 11, on and off here and there. Um, didn't have two cents to rub together. You know, uh, I had to borrow $400 to go to college. Like literally, I was short $400. 400. I had to find $400. Wow. I didn't have it. Uh, you know, got rejected from a job at Dunkin' Donuts. So, like, okay, it's not to say that it's easy. It's right. not easy. It's, it's not actually easy. really freaking hard. Yeah. It is the hardest thing you will do, but it's also the rewarding thing. You know, look at the kids who are born rich, no meaning to their lives. It's you're, a terrible you're, place. You're, yeah, your real, your real resume is just a cataloging of all your suffering. <laughs> right? <laughs> if I were to ask you to describe your real life to yourself, and you look back on your deathbed, you're going to go back and say, what are the interesting things I've done? And it's all going to be around the sacrifices that you made and the hard things that you did. Anything yeah. you're given doesn't matter. You know, you, you have your four limbs, you have your brain, you have your head, you have your skin. That's, that's all for granted. So you have to do hard things anyway to create your own meaning in life. Um, making money is a fine one. Yeah, struggle. It, it is hard. I'm not going to say it's easy. It's really hard, but the tools are all available. It's all there. There's also this, these traps that people sort of establish in their own mind of giving themselves excuses or giving themselves in unsurmountable obstacles, insurmountable d d d paths Vic and terrain. Victim mentality. Yes. Yeah, it's somebody else's fault. It's my skin yes. color's fault. It's the system's fault. Yeah, those people are sinking. I, I feel bad for them. I want to shake them out of it and say, actually, you can get out of it. You just have to stop thinking it's everybody you else's fault. You have to alter fault. the perspective. Yeah. But it's so difficult for people to do. It's one of the most difficult things for people to do is to change the way they approach, approach reality itself. At the end of the day, I, I do think, even despite what I said earlier, life is really a single player game. It's all going on in your head. You know, whatever you think, you believe, will very much shape your reality, both from what risks you take and what actions you perform, but also just your everyday experience of reality. If you're walking down the street and you're judging everyone, you're like, I don't like that person because their skin color, I don't like that, oh, she's she's not attractive, that guy's fat, this person's a loser, oh, who put this in my way? Uh, you know, the more you judge, the more you're gonna separate yourself and you'll feel good for an instant because you'll feel good about yourself, I'm better than that, mm. but then you're gonna feel lonely and then you're just gonna see negativity everywhere. The world just reflects your own feelings back at you. Reality is neutral. Reality has no judgments. To a tree, there's no concept of right or wrong or good or bad, right? Mm. You're born, you have a whole set of sensory experiences and stimulations and lights and colors and sounds, and then you die. Yeah. And how you well, choose to interpret that is up to you. Woman. You do have that choice. Yeah, well, so this is what I meant, that happiness is a choice. If you believe it's the choice, then you can start working on it. And I can't tell you how to find it because it's your own conditionings that are making you unhappy. So you have to uncondition yourself. It's just like, I can't fix your eating habits for you. I can give you some general guidelines, but you gotta go through the hard habit forming of how to eat right. But you have to believe it's possible. And it is absolutely possible. I was miserable, I'm happy as a clam. And it's not just the money I got there before the money. What you really want is freedom. You want freedom from your money problems. Right. And I think that's okay. So people, once someone can solve their money problems, either by lowering their lifestyle or by making enough money, 
Uh, and you know, essentially what you want to get everybody to is retirement. But not retirement in the, I'm 65 years old, sitting in a nursing home collecting a check retirement. Different definition. Retirement is when you stop sacrificing today for some imaginary tomorrow. Mm. Yes. When today is complete in and of itself, you're retired. Yeah. And so how do you get there? Well, one is you can have so much money saved up that just your passive income off that without having to lift a finger under your burn rate, which is great low, right? Mm -hmm. A second is you just drive your burn rate down to zero. You become a monk. A third is you're doing something you love. You enjoy it so much. So, much. Right. so there are multiple ways to that path. We're going to help each other. So. If you like this content, I will tell If you like this content, and like it, share it, and subscribe. And we appreciate for this content, not for me, for the health, the culture, and the sickness in society.